Hello everyone, welcome to our home zoo. It is us, the animal, wildlife and nature lovers. And today, we're gonna learn more about the amazing, strange, weird and fascinating... Naked Moon! Hi guys, I'm Molly, come learn about me. I'm so pretty, but please come learn about me. I would love it, please. My name is Molly, and I am not a rat or a mole. I'm actually a rodent. Hey, I'm clapping my hands. Whee! The naked mole rat is a pinkish, tubular, wrinkled, almost hairless, small, burrowing rodent. They live almost their entire lives in darkness underground. So they weigh between an ounce to an ounce point eight and measure between three to four inches long. And when they are born, they weigh less than a penny. They have a skinny rat-like tail about three inches long. They have small eyes, they almo they're almost blind. So they rely on their senses of hearing, smell, and touch. In fact, they have about a hundred fine hairs throughout their bodies that act like whiskers to help them feel around their way around and they can go forwards in their little tunnels and backwards with like like no with no problem they are native to the deserts of east africa predominantly somalia kenya and south ethiopia they are true truly the strangest mammals they are so strange they are their own species, their own genus, and they were given their own family. They are more closely related to guinea pigs, chinchillas, and porcupines than to moles or rats. Although, where is he? <laughs> they are cold-blooded, meaning they cannot regulate their body temperature, much like reptiles. If it gets cold at night, they huddle up in a pile up on top of each other and share each other's body heat to stay warm. So where is he? Oh, he was probably <laughs> cold. No wonder he's there. I can keep you warm here. <laughs> the naked mole rat could live without oxygen for 18 minutes. They are one of two mammals who are eusocial, meaning they live in highly organized societies. They live in colonies that more closely resemble insect hives, similar to bees and ants. Um, now the colonies have several generations living together. The colonies can have from 20 to 300 individuals living in a single underground tunnel system that can be up to two miles long. You know how like bees and ants have their own queen? Well, Nicky Morats have their own queen. They do. So the colony is led by the queen and all other members have specific working roles within the organization of the family group. So some are workers and some are soldiers. The workers scout for food, uh, dig up the tunnel system and they care for the pups. Duh. The soldiers take care of the, of the colony making sure that there are no invaders or intruders. Sometimes it could be snakes or just intruders. Um, Hmm? The, 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 the naked mole rats, you see these little teeth? They use those teeth to bite, they use those teeth to like bite the people attacking them and there's other reasons. Right, we'll so they also those. use them for defense. Um, so now the queen is the only one that has pups and they have uh, about three times a year, 12 to 27. 27 pups at a time. So that's a lot of pups in one year. Now the queen is not born a queen. She works herself way up there and she maintains that power and role by demonstrating to all the other females who try to take over that she's still in charge. So she kind of walks around the tunnels and visits the chambers and she bites and kicks and- That's bites. another reason for the big, big teeth. And that's how she demonstrates her power. We and have, stays in charge. We have a video of them fighting. Aston. I'm going to take you guys to the National Zoo of Washington, D.C. so you can go see the naked mole rats. Follow me through the portal. Awesome. Okay. Let's go. He's like, go, 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 go. The 
Maybe doesn't want to be hurt. Oh, I want to. Can I go? Oh my God. You want to come back up? Or? Ah, oh, ah, that looks like it hurts. Ooh, ooh. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. What? Now he's up here. Ah, oh, that looks like it hurts. Can I see? Can I see? Oh, he's biting his tail. Get off. Why? I'd rather right now just run over here, run over here, run up there, run over there. Underground, they have like a huge mansion. As we mentioned, it's two miles long, so yeah. They have different areas for like nesting and playroom and kitchen and bedrooms and a bathroom and a waste disposal. Wow, that is pretty cool. But they don't have a TV room. Oh no. <laughs> it's fine. They are herbivores and eat roots and tubers fruit vegetables. So some of these can be very hard. So luckily for them, they have these two very strong teeth that yes. kind of sit outside of their mouth. That's and a they, they use them not only for digging, but they also use them to eat these hard vegetables. And something that's really cool about them is that they can move them independently of each other. Like, like cool, this, right? wait, wait, let me show you guys. So they can do this. Like they this can, one can go up, right? And then this one can go and can just stay there or just like go sideways. Yeah, and they can use some like chopsticks. And that's how they get all of their water. They do not drink water. They just drink, they just eat root vegetables, which suck up the water and then they eat that, which has water and then that's how they get their water. So another pretty cool fact about them is that they can live up to 17 years in the wild, 30 years in a zoo, by far the longest living rodent and they don't show any signs of aging. So I can, if I was in a zoo, I was a little Nicky Mora in a zoo, I can be three year old, three year older little Nicky Mora talking to a 30 year older Nicky Mora and I won't even know that they're 30 years old. You can't tell the difference. And apparently they don't feel any pain. So I can, like a little Nicky Mora, he went, like you saw how back in that when we went through the portal, we saw how they were biting each other, right? That looked painful, but apparently it's not. So They don't feel it. They don't feel it. So if they just get a little cut, they won't notice because they won't feel it. Maybe their whiskers will let them know there's dangerous. The whiskers they have all around their bodies. Like right. only a hundred though. And they sleep belly up. They don't play dead. They're sleeping. <laughs> Humans sometimes leave like that, but they don't actually go like this. <laughs> <laughs> like the little mole rat does. The naked mole rat makes up to 18 sounds. We hope you enjoy learning with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure that you press that bell in the subscribe button so that, you, don't, like so that you get notified and you don't miss any of our weekly uploads. Next. Next week, we're introducing you to the lovely and beautiful majestic flamingos. And keep your eye out for a kangaroo video. Yes, so come and learn about animals and wildlife with us. Leave any comments below. We would love to hear your thoughts and any facts that you know about any animals. Yep. So, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.